Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to set up Wacom tablet for Photoshop. So I've got Wacom Windows Pro Medium and uh, I just opened the Wacom tablet properties. And now as I want to set it up for Photoshop, first thing I need to do is actually open Photoshop. So I'm going to open Photoshop and there we go, we have Photoshop open. So I'm just going to minimize that time being and as you can see we've got Photoshop already here so it's highlighting here so let's hide it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select application and Photoshop and as you can see it's highlighted so I'm going to start with touch ring so the touch ring it's the wheel you've got there a ring so you can do a lot with that and it's super cool and it helps so much with your workflow so personally I like this uh, not as auto scroll zoom I prefer to have it as a zoom so this way I can zoom in and out very easily and I've got slow and fast so that depends to your preferences uh, how much you want to open uh, how fast you want or slow to zoom so now here we have the second option is a keystroke so I'm going to select keystroke and right here I can actually uh, set up my own keystroke so in here I want to resize my brushes so I'm just going to clear okay so I want my square bracket key so I'm just going to select square bracket key and now clear that one and the square bracket key and okay so now I've got resized brushes also I can actually put brush size so now I know so click OK so next one down it's keystroke and I've got many options so I'm going to use rotate so every time I just flick around just rotates the canvas for me the document so and it's absolutely fantastic because it just rotates uh, the image as I'm working on but without actually rotating the image if you know what I mean so cool and right here on the last option the fourth option i've got rotate and i can use something like let's go keystroke and i'm going to use it resize brush as well why uh so brush size the reason is just avoids me go back to the first option so second option so as you can see zoom so i can zoom in and out keystroke which is actually brush size and I, can, um, I use this one here quite a lot and if for some reason I'm, I need to rotate I'll just follow to the next one and instead of going one two three clicks to go back to the brush size I can go and just one click and I'm back to keystroke so it works for me it may not work for you but personally it works really well so that's touch ring now let's go to express keys uh, everyone knows that Photoshop uh, uses a lot of modifiers and uh, the most important ones are Control Shift and Alt option on Mac. So what I want to do is I want to set my first one as Alt because I actually use quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going just to come here and as you can see I've got the options click, right click, keystroke, modifier and that's it. I need a modifier so I'll just select alt and click OK cool so next one up uh, I like to have the shift it's once again another modifier so I'll just click modifier and I'll just go shift and remove alt and click OK and actually control it's right here already so feel free to do whatever you like uh, if you want to change to if something else another great one and it's uh, a fantastic keyboard shortcut it's actually merged a uh, version so basically a stamp layer so you have a set of let's say 10 layers and you want to combine all of those layers into one single layer so that's merge visible it's not merge uh, layers it's merge visible and it creates a stamp layer on, above the existing all of the layers it's a great way to work non-destructively so uh, the shortcut key is Control shift alt e so I think we can save a bit of time just going and Control shift alt e so I'll just come here 
now go keystroke and I'm, what I'm going to do is Control shift alt e on my keyboard and there you go as you can see uh, Wacom properties just detected what I did so I'm just going to rename that so stamp layer it's cool fantastic so now we have uh, right here the top part now of the buttons uh, I have keystroke back step backward I'm actually happy with that so it's undo so the next one uh, I want to change it as well so I'm going to keystroke and what I want to do is I want to swap my background to the foreground color and the shortcut key for that is X so I'll go X and I'll just write uh, BG to FG so background to foreground okay so this helps me it's quite a good feature because if I've got black and white on my I'll show you right here by default this is it and basically just swaps these colors right here where my mouse is so just saves me coming here like so or even going to my keyboard and press the X key so I've got everything within my my Wacom tablet another thing I'd like to point out is this I'm using a Wacom medium and I have four buttons on the bottom and four on the top if you are using a small you only have three on bottom and three on the top but it's same principle to set it up anyway so now the top one I've got settings and uh, I can use for wherever I like so for instance I'll just go keystroke and uh, I'm going to select D so that's the default whoops default color there you go so like I said I've got let's say I have different colors so I'll just go something like so just to give you an example and if I just press the D key just go back goes back to the, my default and then the X just flip around so using my oops using my tablet just uh, saves me a lot of lot of time uh, wireless well you can either switch the power to saving more than two minutes or if you want to show the wireless tablet uh, battery status on the menu bar which is right here where my mouse is as you can see Windows Pro M charging cool so now on screen controls this is a bit more complicated and uh, to be honest I could do a tutorial about this but uh, I want just the basic stuff and I think the basic stuff works really well basically Photoshop has menus within menus and the radial menu it's absolutely amazing but uh, let's keep things simple another thing I've got here is touch so uh, now the touch here it's basically if you want to enable touch input or not um, what it is is just like your phone a smartphone or smart uh, or tablet or an iPad you can actually just move around your fingers on the tablet itself Wacom tablet and pinch rotate using all of that it works really well but to be honest I like to have it off and you've got the standard gestures that you can actually set them up as you can see here and it's brilliant to be honest it's brilliant personally I am not a big fan of it just because uh, I'm so used to work with my pen and and works really well and my gestures once again you can set up everything so now let's go to touch so all with my application just Photoshop okay so we've got that in Photoshop and now the touch cool so now I need to add my pen so let me just grab my pen and because it's the first time I'm actually connecting to the to the tablet to my computer because I had a small problem uh, my pen wasn't uh, very close to me so I just grabbed it and as soon as I touched you just got closer to the tablet it just detected the pen in here so I've got pen grip and the thing is if we go once again like this we can't see Photoshop so it will work with everything so what I'm going to do I'm going to actually bring Photoshop okay so this these will be my settings working uh, with Photoshop and my pen 
So I've got the pen and I've got the tip fill that's down to your preferences if you're soft or firm and double click distance. Uh, I'm going just to have it off because I don't like it. And right here now, this is um, the right click and double click. So basically a, a Wacom pen has two buttons, one on the bottom and one on top right here where my mouse is. So what I tend to do is actually change that from right click to pan and scroll. And here now I can set up how fast I want pan and scroll. It's actually great because it's it's like this when you hold the space bar and you move around with the mouse. And on the top one, uh, instead of having double click, I write to have uh, right click. And this way it works really well, it works for my uh, workflow and for instance this on the pen I've been using for so many years that you'd not believe it I had a previously I had a Wacken bamboo that lasted me for years and years um, until last year or two years ago I can't remember now uh, and this was my setup and still works really well with my intros as well so as you can see it's quite easy to set up uh, Wacom tablet and sometimes people get so confused because there's so many buttons so many options and it's not that complicated and it's absolutely fantastic if you if you do any sort of retouching uh, if you do any drawing please do get a Wacom tablet because they are amazing uh, that's it for now thanks for watching and don't forget to share this video with your family friends and even those that they're not your friends thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now